John Cena. This man is on. This man want to be uh, Dwayne Johnson so bad. Oh. Oh my God. Like, I'm Will Smith out. <laughs> I'm Will Smith out. Oh my goodness. Oh. But that was, I don't know, that made me feel. That made me feel bad. Like, I got bad energy from watching that over and over and over again. I just got bad energy. Um, And social media has been has been putting so many different emotions on me. Like, I think I need to take a social media break for real, for real. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's making, it's, it's bringing down my yin. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, like, I'm loving social media, but I'm finding myself using it more because you know I, I i promote my content and stuff like that and i i'm trying to engage with people more on social media but with all of that comes a lot more different different vibes that i'm not used to and that i don't think i like you know you know what i'm saying um but yeah that's a conversation for for another day um but i am yours truly rick the prince how are you all doing you are watching Surface Town. Um, you already know what to do. Please start this video off by clicking that thumbs up button and subscribing. We're here to talk about Lotto and Mariah. Shout out to Miss Mariah for celebrating her anniversary. She is the cover artist of the record store playlist. Actually, she is the icon of the month. If you all do not know, I curate a playlist every week called The Record Store over on Spotify. Please like that playlist. We're trying to get to 100 likes. We're trying. We're trying. We're going to get there. I'm very ambitious. <laughs> I started doing this thing every month where I highlight an artist that paved the way. January was Janet. February was Method Man. And March is Mariah Carey. I know we're about to be in April, but I kind of do it towards the end of the month, all the good stuff. I pick four records from their catalog. Very difficult to pick four records, but four of my personal favorites, along mixed in with the, the normal playlist of new music, independent artists. It's a whole vibe over there, so make sure y'all check out that playlist. Also, we are covering the Grammys over on Twitter. I do Twitter spaces. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. It's in the description. Friday, we're doing predictions who we think we're going to win. And then Sunday, we are going to be live all night for the Grammy night. Hopefully, nobody's getting smacked. Pray for positive vibes. I'm putting positive vibes to you, too. I know everybody's going through their own things. And, you know, you come and watch my videos for a little, you know, a little entertainment, a little music. But, you know, I, I want to put positive energy towards you. If you're going through something, Rick loves you. Rick supports you and you will get through it. Just stay positive. Just stay positive and keep positive energy around you for real. Doja, better go home with something. And that's all I'm going to say because we already know Olivia is about to sweep. I feel it in my spurt. And that John, that John dude who has the most nominations of the night, I, I got to get into him. Yeah because he got 11 nominations more than any other artist and i don't know who he is but i will be checking him out so lotto lotto has been making a lot of buzz shout out to her record with willie willie <laughs> with willie shout out her record willie with 21 savage i love that video i meant to talk about that but i think i was just wrapped up in so many things y'all i got my hands in so many things right now i'm trying to stay consistent for y'all i'm trying to push this content out for you and she dropped her album 777 on friday i'm still getting through the album but so far so far it's a vibe so far it's a vibe john cena this man is on. He just man want to be uh, Dwayne Johnson so bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm looking at my wrist, and it's a new watch. <sighs> DJ Khaled. Okay, when did DJ Khaled become annoying? When? Like when did it actually happen? Because. <laughs> 
I used to really fuck with DJ Khaled. I still do. Like he's he's a hardworking man. Dr. Luke. Oh, we're not even gonna get into the whole Dr. Luke. We're not even gonna get into the whole Dr. Luke of it all because he's still credited as a producer on that song. Um, somebody please, somebody please get on Dr. Luke's ass because this man is eating off of everybody. This almost seems like a fan mashup in a way, but it's the fact that Mariah went back and redid a lot of her vocals and how she's harmonizing in the background while Lotto is doing. Like this is classic Mariah. I'm still trying to figure out why DJ Khaled is on it because he's not credited as a producer and the beat didn't change at all. I want to say it was somewhere after Wild Side. I want to say it was somewhere after Wild Side, like that whole little era. I feel like after that is when DJ Khaled just started, you know, rubbing me the wrong way. I want to say Jermaine Dupri had a lot to do with putting this together. I could be wrong, but you know, Jermaine Dupri has ties to Lotto and we all know his history with Mariah. I like the way Mariah made her clean up the record. <laughs> she said, now clean it up. <laughs> clean it up, because my kids might be listening to this. Clean it up. <laughs> the official record is a clean record, which is actually very smart, because you can play this now everywhere. It's about to get hot. You can play it at the beach. You can play it at the carnivals, the fairs. Like, like I see, you know, it's smart. It's smart. And, you know, sometimes that explicit stuff really is not needed. Lotto did her thing. I'm glad she added a, a few more bars. I wish they would have like changed up the beat a little bit, you know, cause when Mariah does a remix, she does a remix. Throwing DJ Khaled on there didn't really do anything for me. I guess it kind of made it a little hype. Maybe in the club, it's, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna go up. I'm not mad at the record. Will this be Mariah's 20th number one? I don't know, we just gonna have to wait and see. I wish she would have put it on the album. I'm sure there's reasons why it came out um, today rather than when the album dropped. I feel like that would have helped the streams, it would have helped the charting, because you know, you know, I'm a numbers guy and I'm a charts guy and mu new music drops every Friday, which means that she's already missed three days of the tracking week for points and all that stuff as far as charts go, if we're having that conversation. Um, if we're just talking about the song, the song is good, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really wasn't a big fan of this record in the beginning, uh, especially when she said those comments about uh, not knowing or really have her, really hearing the original sample with Mariah's Fantasy and ODB, it's just like, but then I heard somewhere on Twitter where they was talking about she had to say that, and I'm like, um, um, I don't want to hear all that. And plus, it's pop. I don't like pop lotto. I like hip hop, gutter, street, south lotto. That's what I like. You know, that's why I like Willie so much. It's peaked at number 14. That's really, that's really, really great, especially with no feature. You know, and you say what you want about pop records, but the pop records are the records that really, really go. Like, you think about Nicki Minaj, still to this day, some of her biggest selling records are pop records. Um, so I'm not mad at her for going for it. And she's going for it, and she did the right thing by getting the queen on the record. So I'm not mad at it. You know, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, I wanna let y'all know that Beneath the Surface is coming back. Yes, I interview artists. I have three seasons already on this channel. If y'all wanna check it out, I'm gonna put the playlist right there. Ben Riley, Akeem Ali, James Hooper, Jay Newton, Shamba, Destiny Brianna, some R&B, hip hop. Um, there's a lot of different artists that I want y'all to get accustomed to. They're also on my record store playlist. So yeah, get into that. We are back filming. Shh. This is the first time I'm saying it, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited. We're going hard this year, y'all. We're going hard. I want to thank y'all for supporting me, like, for real, for real, for real, for real. I'm not going to get emotional, but <laughs> it means a lot because your boy's been putting in the work for five years, five, five plus years doing this. So it, it means every like, every comment, I respond to them all. I thank y'all, I see them all. I really do, I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, just keep 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 me updated on what y'all got going on. If y'all want me to check out any of the, the things that y'all are doing, be sure to comment. I will check it out. Let's communicate, let's continue to build, you know? I'm all about that. I'm yours truly, Rick the Prince. Spaces, we talking about the Grammys. We talking about the Grammys. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. It's going down. 
And let me know what y'all think about the Lotto record. Uh, and if y'all gonna push for it to go number one, I'm curious to see what happens. But yeah, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. And that's all I'm gonna say. We out. Thank you.